let's talk about your heating and cooling. So there's a thermostat located here next to the dinette table. This will control both heating and cooling options. Now it is important to know your power source. So if you're dry camping using generator, you're gonna have some options, or if you're plugged into electrical shore power, you'll have a few different options. So let's talk about electrical shore power first. So if you wanna do the air conditioning, for example, you go through your thermostat, you're gonna scroll through either cool, high, or low auto is what we recommend, and your AC will kick on once the temperature reaches your desired state, falls below or goes above. So you can set your thermostat to whatever level cooling you want. We recommend do not set this below 65 degrees or you can actually damage the AC. But your AC will automatically trip on if you're on shore power. Now at this point, we're not on shore power, so it's not tripping on. In the case of generator, you would go through the same operations, scroll through, cool, Auto, high or low, set your desired temperature, and then turn on the generator. For generator operations, you're coming up here to your main cabin control above your fridge. You're gonna see your gen set. What you're gonna to wanna to do first, always make sure your main cabin power is on. Make sure your propane valve is on, since it's a propane generator. And you come over to the gen set, you're actually gonna hit stop first. And what this is doing is priming the generator. You're gonna see auto stop. Eventually this is gonna go to stopped. Once it hits stop, you're gonna hit start and it's gonna go into its auto start process, which takes about five to 10 seconds. And you're gonna hear the generator pop on. So there we go. The generator is on. Now if you go back to your thermostat, once your generator is on or you're connected to shore power, you can come over to the thermostat to control your cooling or heating. So what you want to do is scroll through and select cool. We recommend cool low auto or cool high auto. And you can set your desired temperature. And so here you'll see the AC kick on. And then scroll through to turn off. Just make sure you've gone through the process and you can turn it off. Now again, this is using generator power. You don't need the generator to run the AC when you're on shore power hookup. So let's talk about heating. So for heating, there's no generator use required. You can use shore power using electrical heat option by scrolling through the thermostat bar, or you can use the furnace heater that runs off the propane. So for either option, just make sure your appropriate power source is turned on. So what you're gonna do is scroll through until you see the heating option. So here is heat electric if you're plugged into electric shore power and you can set your desired heat temperature or heat gas, which is the propane furnace. And we actually heard the propane furnace turn on just now as it's set to heat at this point to 91. Now, again, we don't recommend going above say 80 degrees unless there's some extreme heat situation that you need. And to turn off, simply scroll back through the process and you'll see the off position. So please be aware that when you're using the hot water heater or the furnace, these two vents here get very hot. So please be careful not to touch or place any items that may melt against these vents. Oh,